Pardon? We just spoke with my colleague earlier. Yeah, sorry, guys from the control room. So the... Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Hi, this is crooked. My name is Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel and welcome to London, England. Today I'm going to tell you why I'm here and what I'm doing. I'm going to show you, actually. I didn't realize why I was here to begin with, but now I know. I know why I'm here. I get bored, so I just travel and stuff, but this trip has been really cool and it's been really cool, so let me show you what I'm doing. So I went on a photo shoot with a photographer that I have here that I really want to work with, and I'm so excited for those pictures. Let me show you a little bit of that. We got kicked out like three different times, but it's so pleasant to be kicked out by English people. Excuse me, can you, maybe you can't do that if that's okay. Pardon? Oh, okay. Okay, cool. All right, we'll finish up. Good. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we got some cool stuff. Like that's really nice with the, the, the focus Ooh, I like switch. That. And then, that's really cool. um, permission to go anywhere in London, apparently. And they just thought, oh yeah, it's private property. Mate. Everywhere's private property. Everywhere's private property. Allow it, yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's for you, hold that. Okay, ready? Yeah, I am. Hand down. <laughs> Hello, guys. Sorry, I'm sorry. We just spoke with my colleague earlier, guys. We always don't do that for safety. Okay, bro, you alright? Yeah, yeah, sorry. Guys from the control room, so uh, you take taking pictures. Uh, yeah, we're just taking a couple of pictures, yeah. sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think you can take it from like the other pavement, but um, because obviously that's quite a problem. Yeah, yeah, sure. No, no worries. To totally understand. Thank sorry, you. bro. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yup. <laughs> well done, boys. Very good. And then I have been hanging out with my friend Layla, which I always follow her around the world and hang out with her. Oh, hi. <laughs> Got a latte. Nice. This is exciting. Very exciting. I found this bag, like, for years. And I kept it and I was like, oh, I'm going to have a picnic with my friend. That's you. <laughs> oh, we're on the train. I got hazelnut latte. I'm cutting my bangs. Like, that's it. I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> this is a 15 minute train ride. Just kidding. <laughs> it's actually 20. It's only 20 minutes. <laughs> is it really? Yeah, yeah. That's onion bhaji, which is like an Indian beautiful. <laughs> That's my favorite building you guys have, the shard. What, the shard? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you take a trip to the country. The, the harsh city air was hurting my lungs. I'm just a fragile girl. <laughs> <laughs> Bexley. We're in Bexley. That's such a British name. Bexley. I must go to Bexley. <laughs> I've been exploring so much more of London this time around, like, which I'm so happy about, and I'm in a better mental state being here, so I feel like I've reclaimed London, and I don't know, I'd like to have a base here someday. Right now, I am meeting up with my friend DeAndre, and I met up with him a year ago exactly, and we're gonna, I don't know, I don't know what we're gonna do. I'm, my brain's fried. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Is it recorded? Yeah. Oh, shit. Hello. This is DeAndre. You may have remembered me from a year ago. A year ago. So we're trying to like um, figure out what to do, but the sun's gonna go down in an hour. The sun goes down at four. So he's not giving me any ideas, and I don't have any ideas. Wait, is that is that is that like water there, isn't it? That's not. We want to get to Round Pond. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come in a little bit. Yeah. Then it's like 
two in the morning. I cannot sleep. I have gotten into this routine for the past. It's been a week that I've been in England now and I have this routine now of taking a nap at around like eight and then not being able to sleep the whole night and then being tired again because like the five hours ahead US time. So it's, it's been a struggle. It's, been, it's a struggle. Can't sleep and I'm all alone. And I wake up panicked from my nap because I'm like, where am I? <laughs> it's weird traveling alone. Um, even though I meet up with, I've been meeting up with a lot of people. It's really nice, but there's, it's still like, solo travel is just always gonna be a bit solo, isn't it? Isn't it? Did I hang too many British people? It's a, it's a bit solo, isn't it? <laughs> so tomorrow I'm gonna go into Cyber Dog, which is a futuristic cyberpunk um, shop in Camden. I've been there once before, but just really briefly. So that would be fun. I'll show you that. My cyberpunk London life. I have to switch my hotel in the morning from because I added on days. I wanted to wait and see if I like the hotel enough. And so I'm gonna switch to a single room, which will be more fitting because I don't need two beds. It makes me feel like I'm lonelier. <laughs> Since I am solo traveling most of the time, I like to give you my perspective on it. Cause I know maybe some of you are interested in doing solo travel. That's why I always talk about, you know, the loneliness or being alone and stuff like that or being shy or timid because th these are things that you have to deal with and that I deal with. Um, it just comes with the territory and there's pros and cons to it, honestly. So that's why I'm talking about it. Another thing is that I've been getting very overwhelmed. I've been, like, I, like I'm very happy to be meeting with all these wonderful people and doing these things and stuff, but I'm also like trying to be creative and finish things from like um my social media and stuff and also hang out with people and everything all at once and i just get very overwhelmed with all of that if you ever do go out and you experience these things it's not weird or abnormal i don't think um i have severe imposter syndrome so some of these people that i meet up with like you know i look up to them like like an honor for me to be able to do this at all i'm so grateful but, you know, at the same time, it's pretty overwhelming as well. Sometimes I'm just like, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing, I can't do anything, I, I'm paralyzed. And then, you know, I'll have some coffee and I'll be like, wait, no, I'm fine. You know, it's just, it's up and down. So I'm gonna try and pretend to sleep. I did uh, the Wim Hof breathing technique. If you haven't heard of it, it's, it's good for meditation for people with like ADHD that can't concentrate very well. It's like active meditation. Cyber dog and see the robot. do that do you guys ever do that like the the back of your ankle I always cut it um so my friend Ashley's coming over I'm gonna do a photo shoot in here I switched rooms I didn't know how small this would be it's way smaller than my other one I thought my other one was small so I don't know how we're gonna make this work but we're gonna have to and I also realized that the heat does not actually work in here like I know that the heater's there and I tried to turn it on and stuff 
but there's no heat, which is fine, I guess. <sighs> there's a lot of little quirks to this hotel. I guess I'll just be a little cold. Oh, I got some cramps. I got this comment that really bothered me and I don't normally get a lot of hate comments, but whenever I do, they bother me because they're not true. If someone says something that's semi-true, I'm like, eh, fair. <laughs> but this one, I'm just like, I just want to meet this person so badly and, and not punch them in the face. I just, I, I want to give them a dose of reality. They, they said like, must be, and this is the general comment that I do get. And I think it's mostly like people that are unhappy maybe in their own lives and stuff. And they just assume things about other people because they can't fathom you know, going out and doing something different, but they're like, oh, it seems like all the, your male followers and your mom's pays for all your trips. Must be nice. Didn't you grow up? Stop acting like a child, blah, blah, blah. I don't remember exactly what they said. And um, not true at all. My mom, my parents have never handed me out anything. I've worked so hard to get to the point where I'm at now. I have like management now. Like I feel like I'm, you know, I've worked really hard learning editing and trying to just do better at my, what I do. If you want to make those comments, don't <laughs> like those type of people need to be banished from the internet they're the ones that ruined the internet i just had to vent about that which i do vent about a lot of things i admit i do vent on camera but these are kind of like my inward thoughts and i'm i have no one else to share these types of things with so just shut that back up and go do something to make yourself happier anyways i'm gonna finish doing my hair and getting ready and meet up with my friend Oh good, because I was gonna say like I only like it's gonna have you shot from this way and this back light is gonna be an issue. I liked your YouTube video, it was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll make another one. Yeah, so I have a 35 millimeter lens, which is a bit close range, which is why this is gonna be difficult. Okay. So we're gonna get cozy. No worries. I get a spoon at this hotel though, that's nice. My last oh, room <laughs> My last room did not have a spoon. I don't get a blow dryer or heat, but I get a spoon. <laughs> so a huge shout out to Cyberdog. Nice. I thought this would kind of work. Cool. Um, it's a little, so like this top I thought would be kind of. Love that. Yeah. <laughs> Got a selection here. <laughs> so we have this tiny little space and the tiny little bed, but we're gonna prop our camera up to look down. And we'll see how, see how these pictures turn out. I don't know how they turn out. Oof, it's a little chilly. So that is going to be the end of this video and why I'm in London. I know it's like, you know, mostly for meeting the creatives and doing photo shoots and stuff like that. Like there's no real reason except that whenever I travel, I'm able to feel more, you know, inspired. I guess that's what it is. So for my inspiration. As much as London doesn't seem cyberpunk, it's actually very much so. If you guys have ever watched Black Mirror or anything, there's hints of features. I have not spoken today. <laughs> I slept a long time. I know. Oh yeah. There's, there's hints of futuristic stuff um, amongst all the, the architecture and culture and I really love it. That's why I like it so much. I'm right outside in the elevators, right outside my door. All right, stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next video.